All right, what's up? Chris from Shone Roofing. And today on a quick little tip, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of all your ladder home. So when you're driving down the highway and your ladders are humming in your ears and you try to make a call and the person on the other line is asking, what is that whistling? Well, now we can fix that problem. So I'm gonna set up a couple saw horses. Uh, we had to get a new ladder for a super tall building. Uh, we just finished some shingles on and I haven't had a chance to do the acoustic treatment. So I'm gonna show you how we do it. Lots of options out there, but I'm gonna show you what uh, is tried and tested at Shown Roofing. And if you have this issue with your ladders, uh, feel free to copy and get rid of that annoying hum. Alright, so the ladder hum or noise that you hear when driving down the highway and as you drive faster the, the noise usually gets louder is the wind uh, running over um, the holes where the rungs are. So there's two every rung uh, as it, it's an extension ladder and so blocking off those holes will greatly reduce or eliminate all the ladder hum that you have. You want to use something foam that you can compress so that when you stick it in, it's going to expand and fill the entire void. You don't want to use spray foam because then you can never use that hole without digging out all that garbage. So uh, let me go grab my foam. All right, so this is it. It is uh, for wrapping plumbing pipes, uh, say in your basement or garage, so they don't freeze, kind of insulate them for the winter. And I usually get the semi-slit. So what that means is that it will have an opening and the way I like that, or the reason, the reason I like that is so I can fold it over itself and stick it in. This is a three quarter inch. You can get smaller and it'll prob probably work. I've just always gone three quarter inch, really compressed it, shoved it in, and then uh, it seems to work pretty good. You can also use them when you go to sports games to wave around. You know, you can be that guy. Anyways, um, we're only gonna cut about an inch and a half uh, per void, so per ladder rung hole, we're gonna cut roughly an inch and a half. Uh, you don't you don't need a big six inch piece uh, to cram in there. You just need a little small piece that's gonna go on the end. It's never gonna come out unless you actually pull it out. It's really gonna stay in there well. And so we're gonna count how many pieces we need and start cutting. All right, so we got our foam. We have our new ladder. Um, now the best way to cut that foam is there's a few options. You could use a straight blade or a hook blade knife. Not my first recommendation. Uh, so you can use a couple different things. Red, green, yellow snips. Things that you use for steel or tin cutting. I have these shears, which uh, are old now and we use to cut shingles in the winter. Um, they work great because they have a little bit bigger, bigger mouth. And then we have the husky scissors. So these bad boys um, have been with me for a long time. I got a three pack and Husky as a brand, uh, we're located in uh, Southern Ontario. So they carry at Home Depot. They're actually really good for the price that you pay um, for accessories like this. So um, tool chests, um, scissors, anything that isn't a high quality tool that you can get made by Husky is usually gonna be a lot cheaper um, is gonna last. So I'm gonna use these because I find them a little simpler to use. Or these guys here. Or these guys here. Really whatever you got. You can use a straight blade, just don't cut yourself. Okay, we just talked about the different um, options for uh, cutting this pipe wrap. And I'm gonna show you the pros and cons of each, which one's the best. So we have our standard uh, bull nose tin snips, which we use on our steel roofing a lot. And you can cut this. You, you have to get in and start and kind of work your way around. Garbage. We have our uh, aluminum shears for cutting our fascia and uh, uh, big aluminum and also shingles once they get worn down. So same thing we can get in. Fucking terrible. So what are we gonna go with? We're gonna go with Mr. Husky. 
Just your standard kitchen scissors. Look, you can get across the whole thing. Two snips done. Done. All right, so uh, when cutting this, when cutting this, just get some good uh, big ass scissors out of your kitchen. Don't tell your wife or your mom. So we need 32 times two, so we need 64 of these pieces cut. So I'm gonna see how fast I can do that. All right, arm pump beyond belief. I got distracted, so I think I, uh, I, think I cut enough. All right, so I'm gonna do uh, switch the camera around and show you guys how to do this. It's super simple, highly recommended for any ladders uh, you're gonna have on top of a ladder rack or that you're gonna be towing on the highway. You're immediately going to realize <laughs> what you've been living with and that you don't need to. So here is our pile. Normally I'd have the labor um, pick these up and do this for me, but it's just me today. So we're just gonna grab one. Boop. Come over to our ladder. We're gonna start at the end here. And it's gonna be as simple as, like it's obviously way too big. So we're gonna find that cut and we're just gonna roll it up on itself. So instead of having a, you know, instead of having a gap in the middle, it's gonna be full. And we're just gonna work it in. And I like to have it so it's not sticking out past the steel. It's gonna be inset, you know, maybe eighth quarter of an inch. That way when you're you're uh, running your ladder along things, uh, the foam doesn't get caught and come out. So as you can see, there it is. And now we got 64. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be so much work. All right, let's get it done. 64 more to go, let's do it. All right, there you have it, one side done. I won't wait, make you, uh, won't ask you to watch me do the other side, it's boring as hell. Um, but it's honestly gonna pay the most dividends for, I think it's like $6, it cost me to get two lengths of, uh, of that foam. Um, and it's gonna save my ears and everyone that drives with me or I talk to <laughs> a huge amount. So yeah, get your ladders done up. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment if you didn't understand something or want something in more detail. And uh, until next time, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the like and subscribe. Share it with all of your crazy roofer friends and we'll see you next time.